everyone, my name is Chai, and it's once again that wonderful time of year where the whole community starts arguing over pixels in a block game. That's right, it's time for the 2023 mob vote. All three mobs have been announced, so I'm going to go over them and share to you my very accurate opinion. If any of that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future content. Last year was a bit disappointing in terms of competitors, but this year we have three fantastic options, the crab, the armadillo, and the penguin. I think all three of them have redeeming qualities, but unfortunately they cannot all be added to the game. Please keep in mind that all of this is pure speculation, and I can be entirely wrong about most of these things. The crab was announced first. If added, it will live in mangrove biomes with the frogs. Behavior-wise, we don't know much about it. It waves at its layers, but that's about it. Its loot is the more interesting part, however. When killed, it will drop its claw. If used, it will extend your reach to place blocks. While intended for use in building, I can also see it extending the reach of weapons, making it useful for combat. As with most things, I value versatility, and while I would probably end up using it for building, attacking friends from a large distance would be highly amusing. Chances are, you'll have to hold the severed crab claw in your hand. This would be inconvenient, because then you would be unable to hold other things, like blocks, which is very useful for building. If this is to be for building, I would hope that they add an accessory slot for this. It could also open up other things that could be accessories in the future. Minecraft has needed a new inventory system for a while, and the crab could be a good part of that. After that was announced, we got news of the armadillo. It will end up living in savanna biomes, and while I'm not a fan of acacia, the biome has changed very little since it was first added, and it's past due for an update. This is the mob that I expect to win, and for a very valid reason. Similar to a turtle, when an armadillo grows up, it drops scoot, which can be used to craft a very special type of armor for wolves. People have been asking about wolf armor for ages, and now I guess we finally have an opportunity to have it. I can see two other things that could be added along with the armadillo. We could get a savanna update, which while unlikely, I would appreciate different things like trees and oasises. Much more likely, though, would be an additional use for a turtle scoot, especially because there are two semi-aquatic mobs in this vote. Finally, we have the penguin. It lives on stony shores, which is so oddly specific, I'm worried it's going to be difficult to locate. If you do, however, it will speed up your boat, similar to Dolphin's Grace, but for boats. I can see it used for nether highways, but only if penguins didn't need water. Otherwise, they'd kind of just, you know, drown. It would also be very inhumane, but I've seen worse in Minecraft. Behavior-wise, this mob is showcased fantastically. We can see from the way it plays with the lantern that it likes to mess with objects. More overtly referenced is its clumsiness on land and its grace in water. And the design for the penguin is wonderful. Following some research, I have determined that the Minecraft penguin is to be based off of the southern rockhopper penguin, which allows its strange spawn location to make a bit more sense. Penguins also lay eggs, which means we'll have another egg-laying creature. I'm not sure what it is about them, but they seem so much more interesting than just having a child appear out of nowhere. The penguin is the mob I think will lose the most. Even so, it's my favorite out of all of the options this year, and I'll end up voting for it. I hope this video was helpful for you to form your own opinion, and I hope that you have concluded that the penguin is the correct choice. Because it is. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon.